Hello all. So welcome back. This is where we ended our last session. Now let us learn few new things. Here we learned about how to introduce a static image, how to introduce a text. Now let us go to the sources again. Click on the plus and let me start my web camera. So let me start my video capture device. Okay, so I clicked on OK. And you can see that my face is also appearing on one side. I can reduce my face image. I can have my image here. I can open it so you can do whatever you want to with your image also. Okay, so we have multiple options here. But it is not suggested because it might be confusing. So you can have your face to this one corner and reduce the size of this and you can have it here you can increase the size of the image now let me remove the sources which i am not using so let me remove the text or let me show you something else let me show you how to introduce another scene so go to plus in the scenes go to add and click on OK. Now you can see that by default there is scene 2 here. And in scene 2 there is no source. We haven't added any source. Because all those sources are in scene 1. Now let us go to scene 2. And here I go to sources. I click on plus. I go to image slide show. Now before going to image slide show. Let me tell you that. There is a drawback of OBS and that is. You cannot directly import the PPT format. You have to first convert all your PPTs into the JPG format. And how we do that? We know that we just go to any PPT and we use the button save as and we save as in the JPG format. So just open the image slideshow, click on OK and come down. These buttons I will tell, tell you in another minute. Come down. Click on this plus sign. There are two options. Add files, add directory. Go to add directory. And select the folder that you want to import. I had two slides. Okay, I had two slides. I'll transform and I'll just stretch to screen. So you can see that these two slides are automatically moving. Okay, I am not doing anything. They are automatically moving. But you can also control that. How do we control that? Just right click on the image. Go to properties. And here you can see that automatic is coming. Okay, because the slides are moving automatically. And here you can, you can choose the transition. Suppose I want to have a swipe transition. Okay, so you can select the time in which the slides would move, the transition speed and always make sure that this loop is checked so that the slides are continuously moving and they don't end after just moving for twice. Now in this slide mode, I'll change it from automatic to manual. Now and press OK. And then I go to file, I go to settings and I go to hotkeys. When I come to hotkeys, it means that I will have to devote certain keys through which I can press the next slide and the previous slide. So come down and press on image slide show. In the next slide box, just press right arrow on your keyboard. You don't have to type anything. Just press right arrow. So it will automatically come. Similarly, in the previous slide, just press left arrow. And click on OK. Now the slides won't move it on their own. I will have to press the buttons and make the transition. Okay. So now there are two scenes in my this video. In scene 1 I had this. And in scene 2 I had the slide show. So you can have multiple scenes and you can choose accordingly. One more thing I would like to tell you is that you can see in the sources. There is eye icon coming. So if you want that now you don't want to show your uh, web camera. You can just 
close this eye and the video capture device would be closed. So it is very useful in case of the live streaming. I can just click again and it will come. Similarly, I can click on the image and it would be gone. Okay, so these are the various things that we can do. Before starting the video, one thing that you have to always do is you have to click on this start recording button. I haven't done that because I am using some other source to uh, record my screen. So go to start recording and when your recording is uh, completed, you just press the stop recording button and all your recordings would be saved in this show recordings from where you can scroll your particular video. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you so much.